We're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, thank you for letting me know I was on mute. If I do that again, just put it in the chat or if <laughs> something's wrong with our audio. Um, but this is our advanced features class for Company Cam um, for those of our power users who are using um, our features that help your process the most, streamline everything. So we're just going to touch on all of those today. Um, some of these are new and improved features that we did um, in 2023. And so like our notifications, things like that. Um, here's our full outline, um, tags and labels, that notifications tab that we changed this year, we'll go through um, along with our checklists, um, project documents, we made some adjustments there as well, uh, templates, assigning projects and checklists, mobile signatures, and um, how to set up a premium trial. And so uh, we've got some customer success people with us on the call. Um, I'm also in customer success. So we've got Aaron and Bree, and then we also have Sammy here in our support team. So if you have questions, uh, please put those in the Q&A box. It should be at the bottom of your screen. And then we do also have that chat. If you, again, if we're having any audio problems or if something's going wrong, you can um, ping us there. But questions are best if you can put them in that Q&A box because we can answer them right there. Um, or maybe even answer them live. Um, and this will be recorded. So it, it is recorded. We will send it to you tomorrow. So if you need to refer to it or share it with your team, um, you will have that um, in your inbox, hopefully within 24 hours. Okay, alrighty. So let's get started here. Um, our tags and labels. So uh, company cam, um, you have a lot of photos in there. You have a lot of projects. You wanna make sure you can organize things to the best of your ability. And that is with our tags and labels. Um, our labels are gonna live on the project side. So that's what you see here in my roof damage project here. Um, of course, my phone is over here and companycam.com, I'm logged in over here on the right side. Um, those labels are gonna be at the top here where you see that 2023, that archive, that hail damage. Um, that's a that Each one of those is an individual label. Um, so later on, I can go back through my projects and look for maybe all 2023 projects. I can filter by that specific label. Um, so it's pretty easy to do as far as filtering for that. Um, what I'm going to do is just jump into my full project feed over here. And then this filter button right here, going to go ahead and select that. And then you'll see select labels down at the bottom. Um, of course, you can filter by start date, end date of projects, um, a specific user that might be on this project or assigned to it. But this label here, I'm going to go click 2023. Um, you can search um, by multiple labels if you would like. Go ahead and apply that, and you'll see my project list um, shrunk quite a bit, and each one has that 2023 label right there. Um, you can do this on the mobile side as well, just on that project feed. So I'm going to get back. I'm going to get out of this project here. Uh, to get to your full project feed, um, down at the bottom here, I have my home icon right here and right next to that where the, the photos are stacked on top of each other. You can just go ahead and click that icon. It'll say company feed up at the top. And this is where you have your photos and of course your projects right here. I'm on my project feed. And then that filter button is gonna be down here in the bottom right corner. Go ahead and click that filter button. And then same thing, that labels will be right there. I can go ahead and select 2023 or whichever label I would like hit save and it will do the exact same thing. So again, this is a really great habit to get habit to get into as you're creating projects to put that label on there right away. Um, status of project is probably the most common, um, but you can really do anything. Uh, if it's a, a sort of bathroom, like the white tile with a certain kind of floor, that's a really great way to do it as well. Um, and especially with our tags. So let me get back into those tags now that we went through labels. We'll just transition there. Let me get back into my project. My computer's running a little slow today, so I apologize. Um, so again, tags are going to be on the photo side. Labels for project, tags are photos. So you're going to want to get to that photo feed within your project. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my 80 here in the right corner. I've got 80 photos in this project. And then here I can just scroll down and see all the photos within this project on the web side of company cam. Um, we make it really easy to filter for tags, especially on the website, because uh, you can see them right here. So I can click um, damage shingle and it will pull all tags that have that on the photo. Um, so as I'm taking these photos, I'm tagging it with that damage shingle. Um, and something to point out here that 
is a little bit newer to company cam in 2023 is our viewing options. So with our tags, you can have and, or you can have or. So if you want to filter for a tag with a damaged shingle and maybe it's a before photo, it was tagged before, you can now do that. Um, or you can switch that to or. So I'll show you where you can do that. Um, this view button here, go ahead and select that. And the first option there is where you see or and and. So if I flip it to and here and I want to find one with maybe the damaged shingle and let's do before. Uh, I only have one photo that has that. Now, if I would switch it to or, you know, that's going to change. So these photos have one of those two tags. Uh, same here on the mobile, pretty easy to do. Um, you're just going to go back to that filter icon, wherever you find that is really where you're going to filter for anything. Um, so I'm going to click filter. Tags are going to be here right in the middle. And same thing. I can do my before and I can switch it to or and and. Going to go ahead and hit save. And now if I'm standing with a client and I want to show them certain photos, this is a really easy way to find those quickly, especially again, if you're tagging these photos, it's a great habit to get into. So you can pull them on the fly, create a report, whatever you might need to do. Tags will help you do that quicker. All righty, moving on. Um, our notifications tab. So this is new um, as of this year. Uh, we just made a few changes for you to make your life a little bit easier. Um, you probably noticed that um, if you're new to company cam and still trying to figure out where those notifications are, um, this little bell here is where you will find all of your notifications. Um, if you have a notification on red, it will be a little like um, red number there for you. So it will count the number of notifications that are unread. Um, and if you click on this here on both sides, this is going to be my notifications tab. Um, you have all notifications if you would like to scroll through and see all of them. Um, and then this is the new part, um, assignments. So if I was assigned a project um, or a checklist, that's where that will fall under. So I can easily go find that there from my notifications tab. Uh, mentions, that's our internal communication with company cam. So you can mention another user um, in our comments or on the project feed as well. Um, so I can easily, again, go there, click on that project where I was mentioned and already there. And then last is going to be comments. So these are going to be the comments that are within company cam, uh, my comments and my colleagues. Again, I can easily filter through that and find them. And then last we have here, um, mark comments all red. So that's that multiple check marks there. You can, if you have a lot or getting back into company cam, you haven't checked it in a while, go ahead and click that. It will mark them all red for you and you'll be starting fresh. All righty, moving right along, we're gonna go ahead and get into our checklist. Um, if you haven't used our checklist, um, they're a really great way to um, keep everybody on the same page as for your standard operating procedure, uh, for your inspections, your final walkthroughs. If you wanna send something to the customer again with that final walkthrough, a checklist um, allows you to check tasks off while also submitting a photo with it for proof of work. Um, again, most common use case is gonna be yeah, those inspections that you have there. Again, any sort of standard process you have, um, our checklists are really great for that. Really has kind of changed the workflow of company cam too. Um, people are introducing a checklist and that's what they go and see first. Instead of going to the project and taking photos, they're going to the project and going to their checklist before they even get started. Because again, helps with that organization and everything they need to do on the job is now built into a company camp checklist. Um, so to give you an example of that, your checklist you can find um, on the project side, um, both mobile and desktop. And then on this desktop version here, we brought checklists to the left-hand bar. So you can easily, as an admin or a manager, pop in there, see the progress of your guys um, and how they're working through it. Or if you just want to see the ones that have been completed, again, we've made it a little bit more um, organized for you here. So I'll show you first what this checklist looks like on both desktop and mobile. Okay. Um, you'll see I have quite a few in my project. Um, 45 probably isn't common, but... People have probably around five to 10 checklists um, in, in their company cam here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first one. This is just my general construction checklist that I have for my guys. And um, you'll see here 
it's already been worked through a little bit. We have a few tasks that have been checked off. Um, again, that's kind of what we're wanting here is we build out this checklist and then you work through it on your mobile phone where you can check it off, you can answer questions and you can even, again, attach photos to that specific task um, that will live in the checklist and also on your normal project feed. So let's scroll down a little bit farther here. Okay. So this one here, for example, this is where we kind of left off. Um, if I want to go ahead and complete this, uh, this camera icon here makes it really easy for your guys to take photos, again, directly from this checklist. So I'm just going to simply click that. It takes me right to my, my camera where I can take photos. We're in our studio here today. I'm going to take those, go ahead and hit done. Um, those four photos are, gonna, are going to live with that task. Um, I can answer the question and now I can check it off. It has my name, whoops, my name, um, the time it was completed um, here. So my guys know that I did it, proof of work again, and then I can move on to the next one. Um, if you are building this for the first time, um, pretty easy to do. I'll just back it up once here. Uh, if you're creating a checklist for the first time, um, again, go to that project side, navigate to your checklist tab, and then you'll always see this create checklist. It's going to be here on the mobile create checklist right here. New checklist, checklist, new checklist. It's going to ask for a title. So I'm just going to give it Sarah's checklist here. Go ahead and create that. Sorry guys, my computer is a little slow. There we go. Essentially, it's gonna start from a blank canvas. So you'll see this here with the title. Um, it's gonna break it down into a section for you. And then where it says add field, that's gonna be that question. So what you just saw here, each one of these questions where I'm checking it off is a different field. So if you click add field, you can give it a title, uh, whatever you would like them to do. Uh, for further details and instructions, you can add that in your add notes and instructions. It's going to be just a little bit smaller text for you. And then we have the plus question button. So you don't have to have a question with it. Um, we just give you that option. So if it's a yes or no, a rating scale, um, asking for a text response or multiple choice. A few other things here when creating your first checklist or creating a field to be mindful of is this photos required. So we default this to on. And so we do this so they are encouraged to take a photo, um, but we realize not every time you need to take a photo um, for a certain task. So you can just simply uncheck that um, and then they'll be able to complete the, the, the task and move on and then achieve that you know full completed checklist by being able to check that off or submit the photos. Okay, um, I will mention we do have templating options with this. If you guys are thinking, are, am I gonna talk about templates? Uh, we do have that kind of at the bottom of our class towards the end. So I'll show you how to do templates with everything. Templates do come with our checklist so you can reuse them um, on the premium tier there. So I'll get to that in a little bit, um, but we're gonna talk about our documents really quick and then we'll get into our templates. Unless there's any questions about checklists. No questions. Okay, fantastic. So our documents, um, again, our documents are going to be a PDF that lives separate from your photos. Photos are a JPEG. Documents are going to save as a PDF. Uh, you can upload these from your computer or you can scan it in from your phone. Um, contracts, receipts, anything you want to be separate, especially if you're utilizing our signatures feature, um, documents are very important for you. So um, I'll just point out, point those out here on the project side on the desktop documents tab is here. I've got quite a few in here. And on the mobile side, if you just scan over a little bit farther, it's going to be next to your reports. And really what I wanted to point out is adding in a document. We did change this a little bit. You now have the ability to hide or restrict this document um, from certain users if you would like. So if you hit that add document from computer. This is where it will see uh, the manage access button. You have everyone or you also have the restricted. So only um, the uploader, the admin and the manager can then view that said document. 
Um, we're going to talk about signatures here at the end. Again, this is going to be on the documents here, which is pretty cool. Um, and we can template those. So I'm just going to transition into our templates here and what the template package looks like on our premium plan. Um, so being able to template just means you're able to save and reuse on every single job. Um, and it is completely streamlined for you. So um, again, with our checklist here that we just talked about, if you want to reuse this on every single job, you want to save it as a template. So with our templates here, I'm going to go ahead and click on it here. Up in the top right corner, this is where I can hit save list as template. You'll give it a title and then you'll give it a description. So moving forward, when you're on the job site, when you come back to your checklist and go back to that create checklist button, you can then access use existing template. So you can go pull that, bring it into the job and keep that standardized process for you the same on every single job with that checklist. Um, and you can also do the same with your documents. You can upload a document, have it save as a template and bring it into every single job without having to upload it again, scan it in. It's gonna be saved in your templates within Company Cam. So your templates are going to be over here on the left-hand side on the web. So here's where I have my templates um, and it will let you know what you can template in Company Cam. So it's gonna be your checklist, your reports, documents, and then projects. So I've got my check my checklist. Again, your reports. If you guys are using your reports, you can also save those as a template. Just top right corner, save report as template. Same with our documents here. Um, you can upload them in your templates tab if you would like, just to have them saved for future reference. Um, this templates tab is a great place to go and create a checklist, upload your documents, because it's already going to save for you. And then last but not least is our projects templates. So this is kind of like, I call it like the bottom of the pyramid here. Where it, where it all comes together. Um, you've built out your checklist, you have your said documents in there and reports. Now let's create a project template. And this is great because when you create this, you can say, all right, I want my initial walkthrough checklist to pull in every single time I create a job. Same with my report. I'm always creating a daily report on the job. Let's bring that into my project template. And then I use my construction contract on every single job. Perfect. So you can save this as like your general project template, whatever you would like, you can have multiple. And if we hit this back carrot here, you'll see that we do have a default template. So what that means is when I go create a project, it can pull that default template and have those said checklist reports and documents that we just put in there come into the project automatically. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna set this one as a default. Um, I will let you know what that means. Go ahead and set that. It will let you know it was updated. And all I'm doing is just clicking on these three dots right here to set that. So back to create project. You can also do this on mobile, no problem. If we go new project, I'm just gonna bypass this so I can show you. It says project templates down here and it's pulling the one that I set as the default. So now when I create my project, go ahead and hit create. It's gonna pull in the reports and the checklist and it looks like I clicked one that didn't have any. So let me try that again. Let's do this one here. Okay, so when you hit create new project, um, you can use that default if you would like, since that one didn't have anything, um, you can always bypass that. So if you hit this little negative button here, it will allow you to select any project template that you have. So again, if you have multiple of those, multiple different jobs, build out lots of project templates, you can access them when you're creating the project, pull in whatever you would like and you're good to go. Let me just pull this really quick. Okay, so this one had those three checklists already built out. So you, you can see the process when you create the project they will come in because you have that project template set up. Um, and I don't believe I showed you this checklist tab on the left-hand side when we were talking about checklists. Um, again, managers and admins, this is a great place for you to see what's going on in the field. Um, these are all my checklists that are happening. Um, you have the project name. You do have that checklist title. If anybody is assigned to it, your progress, and then your latest activity. So as people are working through that checklist, those will bump up to the top. Um, based on the latest activity. And this checklist feed 
will just be on desktop mobile. You will need to go to that project to see the checklist. Alrighty, assigning a project um, is just a way to draw a notification to your users um, that you want them to be on this said project. Also, if you have restricted users on your account, um, you need to assign them to a project to grant them access. So um, we can do this on a project. We can also assign them um, to a checklist as well. So really easy to do. I just want to point it out for you. Um, it says assigned users here on the right hand side. You can see that quite a few people are already working on this. Um, I can go ahead and assign more users if I would like, but here's my list of people who are working on the project. And then also if they've been assigned, it will have that little green um, button here letting you know that. So again, restricted users are going to need to be assigned. It's You don't have to assign someone to a project for them to see it, but it does draw that notification, which is always helpful. They can go click on it and go straight to the project. Um, and if you're kind of filtering later to see what user is on what project, assigning it is always a good option. Alrighty, so we brought mobile signatures to company cam here just a couple of weeks ago. Um, as you probably remember, we brought signatures to desktop company cam here this winter where you could um, collect a signature through Dropbox sign that we have here in company cam through an email sequence here. Um, but now we do have it on mobile. So you can, we're calling it field signatures. Uh, you can collect a signature here with your uh, mobile device, whether you have an iPad or a phone, uh, makes it really easy to sign off that a job has been complete, sign off on a checklist if you export it into a document, um, whatever that might be. So I'll quickly touch on this here. If you have further questions, um, we would love to set up a time to talk with you over the phone, just to do a bit of a more in-depth demo for you on how both of our signatures work. So real quick from my phone here in the project, I just navigated to my documents tab. I already have one of my construction um, PDFs in here, one of my construction documents. And so I'm with the client. I want them to just sign off that I completed this, this work that I've just done. So really simple, just click fill and sign. This will bring you into the editing mode here. I'm gonna go ahead and click this pencil. Let's scroll back down to the bottom here. Click the pencil here and you really have two options. Um, the big T is for text. So if you'd like to write the customer's name or potentially even um, the date here, I'm just gonna write my name here. So I have it in text, go ahead and click done. Um, I'm just gonna use my thumb. I can move this around the screen. Um, I can enlarge it. I can also make it smaller, whatever you would like. And now if I'd also like to collect their signature, right next to that T is the signature icon here. I'm just gonna select that. It brings up the add signature box. They're gonna sign right here on the dotted line. Go ahead and click add. This drops it right on the page for you again. So just use your finger to move that around, place it on the document where you would like it. And then once you have it, just touch the screen again and it will place it. It's really that simple. Um, you Again, you can adjust the text size if you would like, but the, the point of this, the field signature is just a sign off that something has been done. Um, right in the field with them, you don't need to send an email. Go ahead and click that save button in the top right corner. They will ask you if you are done. Go ahead and click, yes, I'm done. And you have their signature on your document. If I go back here into my documents tab, it now updated it to signed. And so you know you've collected that. Also on the desktop side here, it will update to signed so the office knows um, that you have received that signature. Alrighty, last agenda item here um, for premium. All right, let me. I'll mention to you about pricing with signatures. So our signatures um, is an add-on feature. So if you're trying to access this now and can't find it, it's because you probably don't have the add-on feature. So if you're a pro or premium user, this is going to be um, an add-on to either subscription. Um, it is $49 a month for an entire company to access signatures. So that's not price per user. That's going to be the entire company for unlimited sends. Um, it's just month to month. So if you try it for a month and don't like it, you can deactivate it or bring it back whenever you would like. So we'd be happy to give you more information. Um, we're going to drop an email here towards the end of the class, um, on where you can connect with your customer success manager. We'd be happy to run you through a full demo of it. Talk to you about pricing. Um, with premium, if you would like to access our templates that we talked about, 
um, along with any of our other premium features, including video walkthrough, um, higher quality video, and along with video that's 10 minutes in length instead of just the four or five, um, you are welcome to trial our premium. It's 14 days. Um, anybody is able to access that if you haven't trialed it yet. Um, I'll show you where you can access it um, from your billing page. So companycam.com, you'll need to be an admin here. Go ahead and click on your profile profile picture. It might just be your initials if you don't have a picture loaded. Come down to your billing. And then it will say, turn on premium trial right here. So um, if you've already trialed premium, your screen will look like mine. It won't be an option. If you haven't, it will say, try it for 14 days. So you can go do that yourself, or you can call your customer success manager and they'd be happy to turn it on for you as well. Um, and then do a full demo with you to make sure you know how to use the features. Um, so again, billing page, turn on that premium trial if you would like. Um, pretty easy to do. And again, we'd be happy to help you if you have questions. So that's really the gist of our features here today. Are there any questions? Two questions for you kind of on document signatures. Mm -hmm. Can you walk back through uh, just how to upload those documents in the yeah. company cam? Sure, absolutely. Um, so uploading your documents, you can do from mobile device or from your desktop. So you'll want to go into your project here and come to your documents tab. Okay. And then you'll have this add documents button right here. So you'll click it and then you can hit from computer. And then this is where you can just drag and drop a document. Or if you click this, it will take you to your files here. Um, if you have that contract saved in your computer, it's really the easiest, I think, to do it from your computer if you would like. Otherwise, you can scan it in from your phone um, by just clicking this camera here, scrolling over. Well, let's see here. The other way. You'd scan it over like this. It will take a few seconds. It will upload. And then you can collect that signature there in the field. So um, really easy to do that way. And of course, you can always upload a document if you have it saved on your phone. Um, that's that plus document button here. It will say upload document. Again, there's that scan option. So if you hit upload and you have it saved to your files, um, I really don't have any of that to show. Um, I don't really use my files, but if you do, you can you can do it from your phone as well. Second question around signatures, um, are they legally valid? Like that? Great question. So it's a little bit of a gray area and we do address that um, with our signatures here. If you want it to like be completely legally bound, held up in court, do it through the, the desktop side of company cam. So we didn't show that today um, just for time purposes, but it's what we've had here where you can um, send the email and you can track that, of course, um, that you have sent it, they signed it, you know, we have a paper trail of it. On the mobile side, it's meant for just getting like a quick sign off on the job. Um, they aren't really clicking a button that says, hey, this is legally bound. Um, but that's going to be the same if somebody just is signing your document right there. So uh, we'd be happy to answer any other questions around that. But to, I recommend just doing it from the desktop side there where they can click that accept button. Um, and you have that paper trail of email instead of just doing it on the mobile side. Yep. Another question for you um, regarding premium. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to run over pricing? How that sure. Yes. So premium um, is going to be $10 more per user for the month to month um, compared to the pro. And we also have annual plans where you can just pay up front for users for the year. Um, and it's a pretty big discount. It's just $5 more per user. So you're looking at 29 a month is the breakdown for annual and 34 a month per user uh, for month to month. And if you're looking for prices as well, um, we do have a pricing page. Um, we can link out to you there where you can compare and contrast the two plans. Um, and again, do the trial, um, or if you're a month to month person, try premium for a month, you can always switch back to pro. That's not a problem. So um, we'd be happy to answer any questions about that and help you. Okay, wrapping up here. Uh, we have upcoming classes here before the new year. Um, Tuesday, we have the admin plus managers class. Uh, we just run through um, features specifically for them. And then to close out the year, um, we are going to do a live with Luke. Luke is our CEO. He's super funny. Um, and I mean, we think he's funny, I guess. And so he's just going to preview 2024, all the new features we have coming. Um, it'll be really fun. So um, go ahead and register for that. 
at least so you can get the recording if you can't join us live. Um, that's going to be company.com slash classes. Uh, but thanks for joining us. Again, we'll send you this recording. And if you'd like to reach out to your customer success manager, um, we're going to drop that email in there. Email them there. We'll be happy to meet with you over Zoom or over phone call.